Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today you picked another topic and this time these are my which essentials I can't live without. I had no idea that you would pick this topic uh, because the second one to pick was my um, tattoo guide a little bit. Um, a tour of on my tattoos around my tattoos uh, but you picked this one I'm very very excited to share because some of them are not just uh, very <laughs> obvious objects so some may surprise you or not <laughs> if you know me they will not but uh, I gathered all my favorite essentials I use in my everyday life that may have something in common with my beloved witchcraft and I hope you enjoy them. Uh, if you have any any questions, just ask me down below. Just comment comment down below. Just because because I'm uh, lonely and alone and no one loves me recently. So yeah, please leave something. <laughs> no, but seriously. Okay, I will start with necklaces because necklaces have a special story for me. I have four witchy necklaces. Um, three ravens, uh, one moon. I have no chain to it because it's it snapped and I'm very sad about that, but I'm in the middle of uh, looking for a new one. This is my moon, uh, my moon necklace and thanks to it I met my partner in crime. So uh, I'm not a, lo a lonely little witchy uh, somewhere in the world. Uh, this one, this one gave me a friend, so it's very, very important in my life. Um, also, I have three ravens. Um, my favorite one, uh, I use the same chain for the moon and for the raven, so it also snapped. This is my um, dirty golden um, raven skull, and this one is my favorite. Um, I have a silver one. Silver one is okay and has to be enough for me for now because, oops, a hair, my hair. <laughs> so I have a silver raven skull. Oh, show yourself, silver raven skull. And I have another silver raven skull, but it's smaller and it has a circle of life engraved. Yay, finally. So it has a circle of life engraved on the head. Um, yeah, so these are my favorite necklaces. Uh, let's go to crystals. I have two crystals that I keep uh, next to my bed and they are there every time. Like, they are permanently there. Uh, so this is my uh, huge amethyst. This one, you know it very well from my previous videos. And this beautiful quartz, crystal quartz, and focus won't be here anymore. You know it also from my previous um, previous videos. These are just uh, lying around with few of my candles, and they're permanently there, just just to be sure. <laughs> and this amethyst, this one is a polished one. Uh, I keep in my Kanken bag of every time for <laughs> to protect myself from mentally snapping at work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's better to have one than not. So I mentioned my lovely candles and all my current candles are made by uh, my friend. So once again, once again, thank you for making my candles. And this is my first aid kit, if we are talking about candles. This one is a black candle. Let me open. This has nothing inside, but this is a black candle in this little jar. And there is a white candle, but it's infused with sage and other herbs. It looks, it looks devastated <laughs> because sometimes I burn some mint in it. Um, and other stuff I need. I use it to, to cleanse things, so uh, it may look devastated, but also the, there's sage inside, so it also burns and leaves the dark um, dirt around. So it smells divine because 
It smells like sage and I love it. I love the smell. I, sometimes uh, people say that sage smells like a church and it's uh, and is it true because church incense is also sage. Hmm. Coincidence? I don't think so. So I have these two little candles on my desk uh, with my crystals and this is my first aid kit and it's always there when I need it. And uh, about candles, one more thing. If you don't, because sometimes if you're new in this um, magic business, let's call it like this, uh, you go online and you look for items made exactly to, I don't know, practicing witchcraft or uh, for, I don't know, for just um, mindfulness and spirituality and anything. And these items are very expensive. Like, if you go online to look for, uh, I don't know, ritual white or black candle, you will see an incredible price. But you don't have to pay that price because every uh, candle that's colored um, all the way through, not at only on the outside, is good for you. So you can go to Tiger and you can take the long candles they have for a dollar. It's it's even less than a dollar. You can take this candle and you can use it and it will be perfectly fine. And they have black candles, they have white candles and they have every color candle you could ever imagine. So this is a tip <laughs> if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Of course, maybe the professional ones look better because they have some, I don't know, runes or something. But to be honest, you can engrave runes yourself. Um, so this was my little tip. And <laughs> still in the topic of candles, I have my pack of matches. This is my pack of matches. Oh, sorry. These are huge. These are huge. And to be honest, sometimes I play with them only because it's fun. Like, it's so fun. Like, these are huge. I love them. Uh, they're from Ikea. Maybe they have not very professional, again, maybe not professional um, box. But if you want it, you can just, um, I don't know, make a cover for it from like uh, craft paper or something and they will look better. But it doesn't matter, they are huge and they are fun. So I highly recommend. Uh, they are also very cheap and you have two packs uh, in it, so it's okay. This is a really basic tool. Um, but you need to be um, sure that you want to use it because it's not uh, it makes this it makes decisions for you sometimes and i'm talking about runes and i have my famous rune set on um, rose crystal and this is my this is my rune set and probably it will not even show you these are my runes i keep them in this uh, tiny bowl runes are supposed to uh, give you guidance for future. They are not future tellers. No, they are not telling you your future. Trust me. <laughs> and uh, you want to pick well if you want to have your first room set. Um, for a beginning, I would. Um, consider buying a wooden set because they are much cheaper and you can check if runes are for you. Uh, for me, runes are my favorite divination tool. Favorite, favorite of all times. I have my card set, my Game of Thrones card set. Uh, link probably you will have in card somewhere in here to my divination tool video. But I love my runes after all and um, they help me, <laughs> they help me, they make decisions for me in this form that I don't know, for example, I have two things to choose um, and I just cast three runes 
uh, in the simplest method um, known. <laughs> I just cast three runes and I make a decision and I don't care anymore because sometimes I cannot make decisions. Like, I think I'm good at making decisions, but not very good. And when I don't want to uh, take responsibility, I just cast runes and I go, I move on with my life. Um, but no, honestly, um, I, I really like my rune set. I use it a lot. This is, this is my favorite divination tool. I don't carry it around with me. It's an item uh, of a special care. I don't carry it around, I just take it with me to Sabbaths and uh, meetings where we will probably need that. Um, but I still love it very much. All right, now I have three last items and maybe let's talk about water. A few of you ask me what is a moon water and why do you need that and what is it about? So. I got this bottle, yes, there are birds outside, so please ignore. Um, I got this bottle in Ikea, probably. You serious? I bought the bottle in Ikea and moon water is a water uh, that you um, keep outside for the whole night during a full moon. Why would you do that? It has two explanations. First one that uh, has no details in it is because full moon does things to the things. And the more scientific one is because the magnetic um, field of moon uh, interacts with particles of water. And I don't know what it does, but it does things and it makes it better a little bit. But why do you, do you need um, moon water? Well, you can use it basically to anything and I keep it in here because I use it to my flowers. Once a week I water them with the moon water and they are alive for now. Uh, I don't know if it's an accident or not, but I did what I could. Of course, you can also drink moon water, but if you want to make a water to drink, you need to be sure you take a closed and never opened bottle. So you just take a bottle of sparkling water or still water, but never opened and you put it outside. So then you can drink it. You, I sometimes use my water. I make a drinking moon water once every two months maybe. And sometimes when I feel particularly bad, I just have it, uh, drink it with my medications. It may have an influence or may it not, but this is a habit I can't live without for now. So I. Uh, I always have a moon water, I use it, yeah, my flowers are happy, I am happy, that's it. Almost the last but not least are my, are my charms on my traveler's notebook. This is Kenna's rune and this is Mjolnir Thor's hammer and I have these two in here to, to protect the diary and just to be here with me every time because these two are very special to me. Uh, so I got them in the form of a charm and I just put it on my traveler's notebook and it looks cute I think. I need to say I think it looks cute but yeah I can't live without them. I I thought about taking them off and putting them somewhere else but they belong to the notebook. And the last but not least is a Norse mythology by Neil Gaiman. How, <laughs> how is it a witch tool? Uh, how is it a witchcraft tool? Um, it's not, but it's a great book. <laughs> and it's not sponsored, of course. Um, you know that the closest f flow um, to me is Norse witchcraft. It's called Asatru. And um, it's based on a Norse mythology and customs and it's the closest to me. And if you are interested in these topics too, this is a great start because this is a light book and it reads very well. And it basically explains most of the Norse myths. 
And if I want to make anyone to listen to me, I will just tell a story about how Loki turns Thor into a woman to uh, sell him uh, <laughs> to sell him for Mjolnir to a giant. Yeah, if this this little story doesn't convince you, I don't know what you're doing here. Um, yeah, so if you would ever be interested in this flow, uh, this is a great start, this is a great book. After that, you may look uh, deeper, um, look for other stories more in more depth but this is very light and this is very fun to read uh, so this is my item i can live without because i reach for it very very often even if i read it twice uh, i reach for it sometimes to read my favorite stories again and again and a good book is that the one that you really like to go back to and for me this is the one uh, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, Talk to me talk to me in the comments leave some likes and Subscribe if you're not subscribed because yeah, hi, I'm Mary and I really would like to entertain you um, Yeah, see you guys in another video. Take care. Have a great weekend